Hey, how's hey, it going? How's it going? <laughs> this is amazing. You guys ready to play some D&D? Yes. Oh, yes. So we've got four really cool characters here. Is anyone thinking about anything specifically as you're looking at these? I'm thinking Dorbin. I like his beard, and I want to be a bearded man today. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Are you having fun dragging him around? Oh, yeah. It's a blast. I've actually had this sorcerer I've been wanting to play for forever. Uh, is there a way I can just port it in? Yeah, is it on D&D Beyond? Yep. Okay, sweet. There we go, all linked up and ready to go. Ooh, huzzah! There's a lot of ways to play D&D online, and not all of them are hitting the big three things that we think were important. Fun, convenience, and authenticity. Oh, oh, hello, hello, welcome to the inn. Have a seat. I'll, I'll, I'll get some uh, uh, refreshments. What would you have? A nice grog would be nice. Uh, I'm really warm. I was standing real close to the fireplace. You have good wood. Your wood is good. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone hears scratching noises in the walls. Barton's like, damn rats, and he kicks the wall. I'd like to roll perception to see if I can figure out where the sound is coming from. Yeah, so you want to go to the walls and kind of look around? Mm -hmm. Fire breaks out. The whole inn shudders a little bit. Dorbin, do the rats you encounter normally move buildings? Not anyone that I've seen. There might be more to this than rats. What I want to do is connect all my friends and play with them. They're on their computers, they're on their phones, they're on their game consoles, but we're all together playing through the same virtual tabletop. So that's the dream right there. Yeah. <laughs> Ceiling crashes down. Everybody make a deck save. Oh, oh okay. okay. So that's under your dexterity. It's going to be the top up there. It'll be dexterity saving throw. Ooh, Ooh. solid nine. So now you roll two dice. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Uh... Well, let's see how cool it is after you roll. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Unreal 5, which is latest, greatest. But now we're actually testing with friends of people who work at Wizards yeah. and their families. It's got spells, it's got effects, it's got a lot more rules in it. So those sort of things are what we've been adding. Uh, I will go over to this flame here and sort of rub my hands together and go, all right, please work, please work, please work. And I'm going to cast Control Flames. Nice. To extinguish them. We're just trying to like show you where the rules are. Not being like, oh, once you get to the end of that, you can't move anymore. Cause that's not yes. really D&D to us. It's like, if your DM's okay with it and you want to do a flip and land on the table, then that's just how the game gets played. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Just put yourself yeah. right up on top of the roof. I have the high ground now. The ground shakes, trembles, and an insect-like beast comes out with gnashing pinchers. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we can have the DM be able to set the mood, set the lighting. What time of day is it? Is it raining? You know, oh, is there is, so cool. you know, is there fire embers falling from the sky? We just want to enable people to play the way they want to. Let's go into encounter mode now, which means Ooh. that we're all going to roll initiative. So Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and look, the DM dice. 220s. No. <laughs> it always happens. So he's going to turn around and actually acid spray oh. the kobolds. Oh, oh my god, stop, really? D&D is the first mod community. Yes. Right? Like, yes. if you go all the way back. We're going to make our own content, but we want to make that content out of building blocks that everybody can break apart and make their own content from, because that remix is like core to the DNA of, of D&D. I will use my long sword. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> uh, well, that got its attention. Oh, no. Oh. You might want to just give this one up and run. So with these tools that you're going to hand to the players, is there a way for the community to share assets? The strength of it is the community, and the community creating everything. And we create stuff, and then the community tries to one-up us, and then we try to one-up the community, <laughs> yes. right? Like, that's a big part of it. and. You know, having that sort of marketplace where you can just like download other people's stuff and check it out, I think that's like a core to the, the final experience. Then I'm going to hold out my hands and cast Magic Missile uh, with all of them focused on the Ankeg. Ooh. Oh. We're going to put everything in the Monster Manual in it. We want you to be able to, you know, play the game as it's written. I have eight hit points. <laughs> I don't do physical activity. <laughs> Miss nice. 18. Woo. Ooh. Slam down ah, to the left ah, and right ah. of you. <laughs> I feel like it's so perfect to come in and be able to visualize and see everything and hear everything. That's what my favorite thing about this whole VTT is. There's always like a group of people that want to take that, you know, five hour prep. And there's people like me that just like, give me an in, yeah. Yeah. some characters, and I'm playing. <laughs> oh, there oh. we go. Hey. 
Let's Two dice. Go. Let's go. So I think the big question is, when are we getting the virtual tabletop? Next, we're just going to open it up slowly to more and more people so that hopefully a lot of the people listening will be able to play it this year. I hope that you are so very proud of this because I was in awe. You know? I am glad that you guys like yeah. it. Yeah. You never know, right? That's oh, where yeah. I'm at with the developer. It's like, <laughs> I need the feedback. I yeah. need the loop.